Oh, let's do it again, man. Let's head down to the dam and take care of business. When it comes to earning money, okay, trust me, I am very, very, very smart. Okay, I'm the smartest in money. And now, now I'm passing my secrets of wealth onto you, and I guarantee you, this is going to be the best decision that you ever made to enroll in my four-week course, okay? The art of the trumpet. No need for musical talent whatsoever. I can teach you what you need to know in just four easy lessons, okay? Number one, blow very, very hard. <gasps> Number two, blow even harder. <laughs> Number three, and you gotta pay attention before people will listen to what you have to say. So, number four, blow even harder, okay? Now, people may hate it, you know, they may yell at you to stop because they, maybe they think you're nuts, I don't know, maybe you're not. But believe me, there's no better way to get attention. And that's how I got to where I am now, okay? I must tell you, the Republican Party was like this, I don't know, little old lady in a blue knit dress. I walked up behind her, I put the trumpet right up to her ear, and then I... She grabbed it in bands, okay? Herman Melville lived near here in uh, Pittsfield, where he uh, 
when he started working on Moby Dick, he was uh, looking at a mountain, and it reminded him of a whale coming yeah, up from the deep. And, uh, so rain that, coming, uh, I don't know. So that got him started on America's greatest it anyway. red novel, uh, Moby Dick. He was encouraged by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. okay, Almost by himself. He got one other guy down there. I'll go get right next to him and show him how to catch some fish. Look at this. Nobody on this side either. Well, I'm gonna let J-Mo have that side. I'm gonna take this side. Man, I can't hardly believe this. I got this side to myself. Nobody on the dock. Nobody on the bank. And I'll bet the fish are gonna run in that point just like they were the other morning. It's gonna be a blast. Boom, chuck a luck -a. This is the spot. I have to re rig my flies real quick, like. Gray, cloudy skies. Man, this ought to be good here in a little bit. These fish ought to come in here. Ooh, I hear some thunder. <laughs> we'll see. Eh, this ain't the smartest thing I've ever done. Being down here low is better than being up there high. Ah, there's the rain. There is the rain. Not a lot of it. But it's raining. I don't know what fish do when it rains. Celebrate, maybe. Oh, there's the big drops. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go get under the, those trees. Ooh, there come the big drops. Let me get this stuff packed up and get over underneath that tree. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> to hold this thing up underneath my chin. Whoa, lightning too. That's great. Yeah. Started raining. It's going to be short-lived, I'll bet. Oh yeah. Oh man, if it wasn't for this camera, I'd be boogieing it. All right, I'm gonna assume it's gonna lay off a little bit. Uh, it's gonna pass through a little bit more. I'm keep this camera up underneath my chin so it doesn't get wet. Rain has slowed down a little. Well, we gotta do something else. Boy, I mean, the fish just quit. Not a bump. Not a single bump. Hopefully, we'll not get any more rain. Well. Big old thunderstorm. This one just passed through. Or that one. One of the two. Hey, the only 
fish a catch over here. Big one. Nice one. Big one. On my new fly. A cricket. Look like a champ. We've got about an hour. It's about 7.20. It might happen. It was dead a little while ago. I think the rain's done for the day. We'll see. Let's hit it. It is steamy down here. I do mean steamy. Not blasted hot, but boy, it's humid. <laughs> 